can we overcome greed? Let me just ask your neighbor that question. Someone is coming to say, I want to marry you. You look at the person from we head to toes. You reject the person before God speaks. Are you not pushed by greed? Someone has rejected you. What makes you to worry this way? Is it not because you are also greedy? Because when people reject you, when you, are greedy, when you are greedy, you feel like you have lost them. Because you want to associate yourself with them. Why don't you say thank you, Lord? Because a person who's not, heavy, who's not greedy cannot worry when people reject him. Cannot worry when people leave it. Because there's nothing he gains. I don't know if you're hearing that. One of the things that I was always fighting in my spirit for many years was to not to have question why, who came to church, who didn't come to church. Because once I begin to see you have money, you can affect my faith. So I have to treat everyone the same. So this makes me not to say I depend on that one. I rely on that one. That one is important. Then, I want to tell you there is nobody in my life who is important. I'm telling you now. Everyone is the same important. If you come to me, you speak with me, you, re, you see I value you important. There's no one that, I mean, having speciality. I know the speciality in my wife. You see that, mama? Can you stand up, mama? There's speciality on that one. This one can, oh. can enter my room without knocking. And you can do that. So that is speciality. So whoever visits me will ask, am I around? I'm sure you understand that. This one won't ask if this one find I'm not there, we'll say, where are you? I'm trying to show you about speciality. You can't ask me where are you, what are you doing there? So listen to this. Whether you leave me or you don't leave me, it won't affect my heart. I affect Because we met along the way. When people try to disappoint you, reject but you, whatever, and they are Christians around you, don't matter about them. You, you meet them in church. The person that you will matter about is your husband, is your wife, isn't it? Is your children. So now you find people gossip, you just laugh. Are you ready to remove that greatness? Can we all stand? It makes you to see. Greediness makes you to treat people wrongly. It makes you to shake hands hand with respect with this one. That other ones you don't shake a hand that way. It's greedy. Greedy makes you. Can you just let me shake hand with you? You see what I'm shaking here with this man? Can you see? Can you see there? 
Let me, let me show you how I shake it with you. This is, can you see the, look at my hair. Can you see my, yeah, can you see like my hair? Okay. Yeah. Another ones you shake it like they come. Look at this one. Because there are certain things you know you will get from this one. But this one you know there's nothing. So greedy affects your character. Lift up your hands today. And ask God to save you from greedy spirit. Prayer. Ask God to save you from greedy spirit. This is spirit from wrong character. I can't hear you. In Jesus' name. This is the prayer you were supposed to be praying every day. Before you finish prayer. Lord, let me fulfill your will. Today. It means I must not be greedy. Can you ask God today, God, let me fulfill your will from today? Prayer. I can't hear you. Greedy. In Jesus' name. I believe I will tell you this. In Charis, Charis is one of the church Charis. that God raised many prophets from it. And I found why God did that. God will never do that unless we overcome our greedy. God will never use you to raise someone. Ask God to use you to lift other people's prayer. Ask God to use you to lift other people's prayer. Oh, Father, help us today Help us today to be a channel of solution to be a channel of answers for other people. Pray that prayer with all your heart. Help us to be a channel. Make us to be problem solvers. Oh yes, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.